some are different types of risks. There's, of course, the physical risks to infrastructure from climatic effects, from storms and sea level rise and so on, impacts on agriculture. There's also, and I would emphasize in the short run, perhaps more important, the risk of repricing of assets, the recognition that when incentives are created to reduce emissions, certain kinds of assets like uh, coal, uh, oil from tar sands are not going to be as worth as much. They're what we call stranded assets, and as the demand for those types of assets falls, when we price emissions appropriately, uh, the companies that have those assets in their balance sheets will reprice. Hedging stranded assets really isn't that hard. You can first of all remove them from your portfolios, uh, coal for instance, companies. Uh, you can hedge them with uh, derivative instruments if you wish. Uh, but basically the important thing to do is to recognize what are the stranded assets and then remove them from the portfolio. I think when you say everyday Australians, uh, beneficiaries of pension funds can ask for transparency in the portfolios that the uh, super funds are managing for them. Uh, we can ask corporations, do they have internal prices for emissions? Are those appropriate? Are they driving the appropriate investment decisions? So transparency about what risks are being addressed and which aren't.